Hey there, future scientists. Today, let's crack open the tiny world of molecules. Imagine splitting a substance into smaller and smaller pieces. As you shrink it down, the composition and chemical properties stay the same until you hit the smallest unit, the molecule. This little guy is the smallest identifiable unit into which a pure substance can be divided and still retain its composition and chemical properties. Now what exactly is a molecule? It's a group of two or more atoms bonded together. Think of them as the Lego blocks of chemistry. For example, take water, H2O. Each molecule of water consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom bonded together. Break apart these molecules and you get something entirely different like hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Molecules come in all shapes and sizes. Some are simple like the oxygen we breathe which is just two oxygen atoms bonded together. Others are more complex, like caffeine, the molecule that powers your late-night study sessions. Caffeine is made up of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen atoms arranged in a specific structure. Speaking of complex, let's give a nod to some of the brilliant minds who've expanded our understanding of molecules. J. Fraser Stoddart, Joseph Loschmidt, Kurt Wuthrich, Bernard Feringa, and Herbert A. Hauptmann are some of the key figures who have shaped modern chemistry. Their groundbreaking work has helped us understand the configuration, conformation, and behavior of molecules in ways that impact everything from medicine to material science. Now what happens when you break down a molecule further? You get atoms, which are the basic building blocks. But here's the kicker, when you break those chemical bonds holding the atoms together, you change the substance entirely. It's like taking apart a Lego castle. You're left with the individual bricks, not a smaller castle. The properties and composition change drastically. Molecules are not just important in the lab or in textbooks, they're everywhere. They make up the air we breathe, the food we eat, and even the cells in our bodies. Understanding them helps us grasp the fundamental principles of chemistry and biology. So, next time you're sipping on coffee or taking a deep breath, remember the tiny molecules making it all possible. They're the unsung heroes shaping our world, one atom at a time. And that's a wrap on today's molecular adventure. If you enjoyed this dive into the microscopic world, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more bite-sized science. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, science is all about the molecules. Catch you next time.